YouTube, what to do? It's your boy Orange Blood VFL. I'm back at you with another one. It's my recap to the UT Martin Tennessee game. And as expected, we showed up and we showed out. Hannon Hooker, he did his thing. 276, three touchdowns in the first half. Set out the whole second half. Maintained his Heisman campaign as well as Jalen Hyatt, which I believe he has a Heisman campaign as well. Yes, he had 174 yards and two touchdowns. So yeah, I, I believe if he performs next week, he's going to be like, the, his Heisman campaign is going to be for real. But yeah, Princeton Fant, he showed up and showed out. Jack of all trades, he's a Swiss Army knife. He did, he can run, pass, throw, probably tackle and kick too. He can do it all. Yes, um, Ramel Keaton, he balled out two touchdowns, like 77 yards. Squirrel White, oh my God, I can't wait for next year. Squirrel White and Dylan Sampson and um, Joe Milton, I wish, I just wish um, once they get in, that Hyper would run the second team full force so we can see like their full potential. But I understand, I understand. They just, um, once they get in, they just try to um, run the clock out, you know, so we can just get a win, wrap it up and go home. But yeah, everybody did their thing. Um, the yeah, second team got in, they got some good experience. So they can, you know, whenever someone goes down, Lord forbid someone goes down, they'll be ready to step in. You know, you gotta be ready at all time. So I'm glad they got their um, game time in. Yeah, we wrapped it up, we did our thing. But my biggest takeaway was the Summit Blue. Um, That was major to me. Um, Dan, Danny White, he gets it. Danny White, um, Josh Heifel, they get it. They understand the culture of Tennessee. They understand the the fan base, what we love, and they just cater to it. The fans and the players, they, they're here to, you know, rebuild the culture and to leave behind a legacy. So um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm appreciative of them. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we got Danny White and Josh Heupel. They get it. The Summit Blue, they just was everything to me. Once I seen it, I got a little emotional because um, it reminded me of Pat Summit. And after I fell in love with football, I got involved with other sports like lady balls, men's basketball, soccer, softball. Shout out to Monica, Alley, Monica Abbott, one of the best pitchers I believe of all time um, in softball. But yeah, I was in love with lady balls. I watched all of their games. Uh, Pat Summit, she had those girls balling. Uh, Michelle Snow, uh, Tamika Ketching, Shamika Holeslaw, Kara Lawson. Candace Parker, the list goes on and on. She had those girls ready at all times. So um, I really appreciated that. And they held it down once the football team went down. The men's basketball, we were all right. But women's basketball, they held it down for the most part. They kept us relevant. So, yeah, she changed the whole game of um, women's basketball. She, I feel like she put women's basketball on the map. So, yeah, she's probably my favorite ball of all time. So um, I'm glad that they paid homage to her. Uh, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a link below for the art, article I read about the um Summit Blue, which was implemented first in I think 1968. But um yeah, to me it's like that's the thing I remember once I seen the Lady Balls that that little hint of blue with the orange and white. It was beautiful. So it was dope on the players, like the sleeves and the armbands and stuff. It was dope. I hope they keep it. But I believe they wore this game because UT Martin was her alma mater, um, which I didn't know, but I found out. So I'm glad they did that. Hopefully they keep it going. And all of the um, sports teams um, for University of Tennessee at some point or another will be wearing it this season, which I'm excited for. Uh, I'm glad that we did it. Danny Danny White and Josh Heifel, they get it. They changing the culture. And we we are it's much appreciated, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, I'm gonna come back with my prediction on um, what's gonna happen against Kentucky. Um, mine might be different than other people, so uh, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back with another video for that one. But uh, oh yeah, I gotta I gotta give y'all some stats on of um, uh, Pat Summit career. Yeah, I gotta give y'all these stats because I just I love Pat Summit. She won eight eight national titles. 18 Final Four appearances, 31 NCAA tournament, appear tournament appearances, 1,098 wins, most of all time, men's and women. She the GOAT. And all 122 of her players graduated with a degree. So all of her players 
all of her players graduated. They played, um, they played for her. So she she cared about the players on and off the field, and that's that's greatness. So yeah, I appreciated her for that. Um, she motivated me. Like some of her speeches, they they like they like a fire up under you. You know they 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 get you going. But yeah, that's my um, recap of the game and my thoughts of the Summit Blue. Much appreciated. And um, I appreciate just Tennessee fans just be thankful because you know we where we were at. Just be blessed, dude. Where we at now? Because other fan bases, they Missouri, Auburn, Vanderbilt, they going through it. We have been there, so it's much appreciated where we at now. Um, yeah, uh, I would appreciate a like, subscribe if you like the content, and go Big Orange.